Hello, this is Alton and welcome back to my channel. Great to have you back and today, well, it's night outside in order to show you this function, I, our feature, I've got to um, have it to where it's extremely dark. This is gonna be the automatic high beam, which is something I think everyone should be using because it's safe for not only you, but everyone on the road with you. It, it's so quick in the way that it goes from high beam to low beam. You don't distract oncoming drivers. Going in and out of the city, it's got you covered. Now I'm gonna turn around and show you how to engage it, and then of course, hopefully, you'll use it from here. So as I roll you around, as I always love to do, show you the interior cockpit or the dashboard. I like to look at it as a smaller version of the S90. So as I take you behind the wheel, you can see right here, I'm gonna get you as close as possible. So the white line is what you want to tune in on. And that's off, parking lamps, that's your lights, so you're turning them on manually, automatic. Leave it on automatic all the time, why would you not? Automatic turns on and off your lights depending on the light outside. So if it's from night to day, it's automatically gonna turn them on when it rolls over tonight. Now if I take the tip here, just a little roller, rubberized, roll it up, that's high beam. So you have the headlamp here with the A inside, that's high beam. Now, how do you know your high beam is on? And it's just a flick and it comes back to a neutral position, which is auto. So how do you know that it's on? If you go to the interior dash behind the wheel, I want you to concentrate right here. Yes, here in Charlotte, Belmont, Gastonia, North Carolina. It's 35 degrees. You can see the icicle there because they're expecting ice for any water outside. I left water in the car last night and it iced up on me. But keep your eyes pitched there. Now, notice the headlamp with the A. That's your high beam assist. That means that it's fully engaged and it's ready to operate. Now I'm gonna take you back down to the stalk. So all I'm doing is just taking this and twisting upward. I'm gonna show you as I'm twisting. Now keep your eyes pitched here and also here. As I twist, you'll notice it appears and disappears. That's on. That's how you wanna leave it. And now let's focus on what the feature or what this benefit actually does for you. So this is a good look at the automatic high beam. I know there's a lot of people that don't use it and they're skeptical about how it would perform. Welcome to But North this Carolina. is awesome because right now it's in high beam mode because it's on a black back road. But you just saw oncoming traffic and it automatically goes to low beam. It's gonna stay on low beam with the car coming up here. Now we're back to high beam. I absolutely love it. You're getting a reflection off of the sign there, which would be feedback or light coming back into the vehicle. It knows that that's a reflection, so it keeps you in high beam mode. Now, just take note on how it shifts effortly, effortlessly back and forth. So therefore, you're not blinding oncoming traffic. There's oncoming car, you can see the flip. I absolutely love it. I, I just turned it on. This is my first time doing an extended drive at night with it. So yeah, just keep your eyes on it and I'm just going to let it just kind of sift through and play a little bit here while I'm, I'm going along. Back to high beam. And by the way, this is, as I mentioned before, a 2019 Volvo S60. This is the newest from Volvo with the V60 on the horizon, but as of right now, from a dealership standpoint, this is the newest of the new. So we are in full high beam. And once again, this is automatic high beam in action. Oncoming traffic, you can see it automatically dims, and it's quick. So you have no threat whatsoever of blocking or hindering the vision of oncoming traffic because of the quickness that it shifts from high beam to low beam.
And just in case you may be looking for four-door sedan in the land of world of SUVs right now with gas prices being relatively low, the S60 is a pretty sweet ride. It's a smaller version of the S90, but I really love the feel of it because it's aggressive cat quick, especially when you're talking from a torquey standpoint. It's got a good feel to it. If you're doing distance traveling, feels like a solid vehicle. My seat is extremely comfortable. That's pretty nice, even when the light seeps through the woods. As I'm going around corner in here, it can pick up the light from oncoming traffic through the woods and it gets a full shot, it dims. And then of course, if it's blocked, it lowers and then it pops right back up to high beam. I'm talking about the high beam. Check out these curves and the handling I have here. Of course, that was a 45. Don't hold that sucker against me. I'm doing about 62. Running in the air and sharper curve. Didn't get the feel or threat that I was losing control. As you can st tell, I'm still recording. So I, I, I didn't feel threat, I didn't feel loose, I didn't feel out of control at all. Another one. I have no idea where I am. Of course, my navigation is navigating me. Which is the reason why these roads are so dark. Now, I don't know if you noticed there, there's a little bit more light picking up in the area. So high beam went to low beam. Coming up on a traffic light with additional lighting. So of course, you're not going to get it here. Back to high, it can tell the difference between the house lighting, which is quite a bit off the road. Now there's another oncoming car. You can see it in action. Absolutely love it. Whenever you get in the car and it's night, just your lights are already in automatic. Take the tip, the stalk on the left hand side of the wheel, twist it up to high beam mode and you get this. So I hope you have enjoyed this brief look at the Volvo S60 high beam, which is not only the S60, but it's also uh, among many other Volvos that you can choose from. And in some models, it's actually standard, so you don't have to worry about choosing it or picking it up in a package. I hope you have enjoyed this brief look. I hope you'll use it. It's definitely gonna come in handy, and it uh, makes your right drive a little bit safer along with the people around you. So enjoy, and remember to click subscribe and continue to tune in. Uh, earlier, if you haven't looked at it, I gave you a brief walk around on the exterior of the S60. I'll also be coming back with a little bit more detail on the performance of this automobile as well. So thank you for tuning in and catch you next time.